Okay, now that we're at our sewing machine, there's a few things that we need to do before we actually start practicing our quilting. The first thing we're gonna wanna do is to lower our feed dogs. Um, you can do this, some sewing machines have a lever where you will lower them. Other machines just have a little cover that goes over the feed dogs. And this is important for whenever you are free motion quilting to have those feed dogs not working because feed dogs are meant to pull the fabric straight through the machine. So it just goes straight through. But when you're free motion quilting, you're moving the fabric all around and the feed dogs will just be fighting you while you're doing that. So it's very important to lower the feed dogs or cover them if you have a cover. Then you want to set your stitch length to zero. That's going to allow you to be in charge of kind of the uh, the length of the stitch and the speed at which you're pushing your foot pedal or if your sewing machine has a speed control on it, that's going to help you just have a nice even stitch when you're quilting. Another thing that you want to do is you want to get a free motion quilting ruler foot. Um, this is a specific foot that is meant to be used with rulers. If you see on the the lip of the foot, it's a lot taller than a regular free motion quilting foot. And that's going to allow us to have that, um, that foot right up against that template. And it, we can actually use the template as a guide as we're moving everything through. Um, so that's very, that's a very important thing that you're going to want to invest in if you're going to be doing a lot of um, quilting with these quilting templates. Okay, so now that we have those basics covered, I'm going to go ahead and put on my quilting gloves here real quick, and then we're going to do some practice. Um, now, if you are just beginning with this template, I would recommend to not even have your sewing machine on at this point and just practice the movements of the template underneath the needle. This is going to help your hands and your brain get used to the movements, um, which is very important. So first things first, we have our template in the grip. Okay, we're going to pick a starting point. I'll have my starting point just be over here in the top left corner. All right, now on the template, right here is going to be the starting point. Okay, so we're going to move from left to right. So we're going to put our foot in that starting point. And then we're just going to practice the movement. Take it nice and slow. And as you're moving, you're going to want to be moving the template and the fabric all at the same time. But you don't want the template to move on the fabric, if that makes sense. You want to be controlling the entire unit all at the same time. And you're just going to go through all the curves, following it with the foot on the template. Making those beautiful meander lines. all the way through and then stop at the stopping point. So that's the stopping point, okay? Now, if if you look at that card that came with this quilting template, I'll pull it up here so we can look at it. Here we have our first, this is what we just practiced Then we stopped and then we're going to move the template, not the fabric, we're just gonna move the template because if we were actually sewing, our needle would be down in the down position. And we're going to move the template all the way over so we're back at the starting point. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So I am going to lift my foot up and the needle is still going to be in the down position. I'm just going to we're just going to snake this around, imagining that the needle is down. 
and then we're going to start back at that starting point. And then let's just practice that movement one more time. Without the sewing machine on, you're just gonna practice the movement of moving the fabric with the template together underneath that needle. You wanna move nice, smooth, fluid movements as you're going around. And stop, and there we go. And then once you're actually stitching, then you're just gonna keep on moving that template over. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. Okay, now that we are confident with the movements of the, the um, fabric and the template together, we are going to turn our sewing machine on and do practice stitching now. I'm gonna get my sewing machine on get my template into position. Remember, we're starting over here on the left side at the starting point. I'm gonna have my quilting gloves on. I'm gonna have a grip on this handle. Move this over. And this handle, okay? You wanna have your hands gripping that with a couple of fingers from both hands on the fabric, okay? So let's go ahead and do our first practice round, all right? Remember to take it nice and slow. Remember to use the template as a guide. But nice and slow, keeping those stitches even. And there we stop. There, that's our first one. All right, now I'm gonna show you how to move the template over so we can continue the meander across the qu little quilt. So we're gonna lift our foot up. And remove that. We're gonna move this over. we actually need to snake it through. <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna kind of move this through quick, backward, till we're at the starting point. All right, we're gonna put our foot back down. And now we're at the starting point, we are ready to do another round across the template. So let's do that. Remember to keep it nice and slow. You don't wanna be herky-jerky. You want to follow those curves nice and smoothly. Then we stop. All right, let me go ahead and do a couple more for you and you can just watch. Gonna bring this back around.
right, let's go ahead and remove this so we can look at those stitches. Look how beautiful that looks. Looks like a beautiful meander. And you would just continue that all the way across your quilt and then, then start over in the next row and do it all over again. So this, um, this style of quilting is a very popular style in free motion and this template just makes it that much easier. So enjoy and have a great time. Thank you.